It's not uncommon in history for battleships to be converted into aircraft carriers. Many early aircraft carriers were converted from other ships, such as the British HMS Furious, which was converted from a cruiser, and the American USS Langley, which was originally a coal ship. After World War II, battleships with main weapons like large cannons quickly became obsolete. The cutting-edge Iowa-class battleships in the hands of the U.S. Navy had to be placed in reserve and decommissioned. In addition to the outdated weapon design, the Iowa-class battleships themselves had many advantages. For example, their strong structure and resistance to damage made it difficult for ordinary anti-ship missiles, torpedoes, and other weapons to completely disable them with just one or two strikes. The battleships had a displacement of over 50,000 tons when fully loaded, with strong carrying capacity and spacious dimensions, making them highly adaptable for conversion. In the early 1980s, the United States and the United Kingdom jointly developed a new generation of AV-8B Harrier II Vertical Takeoff and Landing VTOL, aircraft. This type of aircraft could take off and land on small aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships, making it well-suited for surface warships with slightly smaller deck areas. It was during this period that the United States proposed the 600-ship Navy Plan, which included the upgrading and conversion of four decommissioned Iowa-class battleships. One of the proposed conversion ideas was to combine the battleships with the AV-8B, developing a special type of aircraft carrier. This idea was technically feasible, as the Iowa-class warships were originally designed to carry three seaplanes and the corresponding catapults and recovery equipment. From photos, we can see that they had a spacious rear deck. The plan would involve removing the battleship's aft turrets and corresponding structures below the deck, freeing up approximately one-third of the ship's length. Two ski-jump runways would be laid out, but they would be too short for fixed-wing aircraft to take off and land. However, they would meet the short takeoff requirements of the AV-8B. Below the deck, hangars, ammunition storage, fuel tanks, and other equipment would be installed. It was estimated that a converted aircraft carrier could accommodate 20 AV-8B aircraft, which could perform air combat, ground attack, and limited airborne early warning tasks, with overall combat capabilities similar to those of a light aircraft carrier. However, this conversion idea ultimately gave way to a more practical solution. The Iowa-class battleships, USS Wisconsin and USS Missouri, which appeared in the Gulf War in 1990, did not have their main guns removed. Instead, they were equipped with additional Tomahawk cruise missiles, harpoon anti-ship missile launchers, unmanned aerial vehicles, and close-in weapons systems. Converting the Iowa-class battleships into aircraft carriers also presented many problems. While 20 AV-8B aircraft could provide decent combat capabilities, their limited aircraft type made it difficult for the carrier to perform various tasks, such as anti-submarine warfare, early warning, and transport missions, which usually require a variety of aircraft. Furthermore, operating a converted carrier with a displacement of over 50,000 tons would be completely different in terms of cost compared to operating a light aircraft carrier with a displacement of 1 to 2,000 tons. In conclusion, this was a low-cost effective solution, 